Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm here in the PTS for that's extremely loud. Here in the PTS um, with Smite mid-season patch, um, and I'm just gonna show you guys a, a couple of the changes. But I want to highlight one thing in this video, as you can tell by the title of this video, the Staff of Mirrodin, I think is how you say it, or um, it's it's this item right here. Let me show you. This item right here, the Staff of Mirrodin. Murden, I'm not sure. Um, after casting your ultimate ability, your next ability, not ultimate. Within 10 seconds, we'll have no cooldown, but we'll only hit for 70% of its normal damage or heal for 70% of its normal healing. It can only trigger once every 45 seconds. However, that means that with a god like Hell, um, where you don't have a cooldown on your ult, um, it really just shows, it goes to show you that it, I mean, it's going to be insane. I hope for the best. I really do. I, th I think it's going to be fantastic. So yeah, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, let's go over some changes real quick. Um, I don't think anything in this little tree got changed. Or if it did, it wasn't enough to warrant like a lot of stuff. Uh, we got on all items. Let's see. Let's go through this. Um, there's this new item called Contagion. It's basically a physical protection item that acts as pestilence. So if you want to stop, they finally added physical pestilence, which is just super dope. Um, I'm hyped about it. So just so you know, uh, this guy's my friend, and we're gonna play, but we're not gonna like go super try hard. I told him to like. You know, tone it down a bit because we're just chilling. I, I need to get, I need to get a little bit ahead because, well, I guess I don't need to get ahead, but it is like a, it's a late game item, so because it's such a late game item, you'll definitely be able to get it if you're playing Hell, especially because Hell is so late game. What have I missed? But uh, yeah, I told him to chill a little bit. He needs to heal up. I don't want to kill him. Alright. He's actually a really good player. He just, uh. I told him to tone it down. He just. He might have toned it down a wee bit too much. But yeah, so that's a new item in the game. Uh, is that Contagion? It's basically just a physical pestilence. I'm not sure if they changed any of these really low items i'm sure they tweaked a little bit of it like uh lotus crown got a little bit of a buff i think um jade emperor crown got a little bit of a buff they buffed up the crowns uh, a couple times um let's see back down here where jade emperor's crown is i think talisman of energy lasts 10 seconds now and stacks up so it's that proc is actually going to be a little bit more effective so did that kind of change? I'm actually, I'm not going to go over a lot of it because I plan on making a whole patch notes video in and of itself, but uh, in and of itself is what I was going to say. But I just wanted to showcase how strong this one Staff of Mirrodin item could be. Not only, uh, let me just go ahead and show you. Not only is it um, uh, 100 power and have that sick ass effect, it also is 10% cooldown for 900 gold. It just straight up 10% cooldown. So it's got that 10% cooldown all the way up top with 100 power on it too. Um, it's just really strong. Only... I should say that only mages and... Uh, only mages and guardian can buy this item. So... It's not too terrible. And this one... They... And this one is basically like a guardian. It's not that great. Honestly, it's a pretty bad one. It's 20% cooldown with minor protections, but it does give you a shield if you're a little low, so it's not completely terrible. Alright, 
Let's see if we can get, the, get a kill on him here. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go get our boots, and then I think, um, actually, I'm gonna just go straight into the staff of Mirrodin. I want to see. I want to see what it does. So let's just sell this and pick this item up right now, and let's try it. So we three, we alt. Well, I guess we alt, and then we won. And then we won. That's crazy. Does it still take the same amount of mana? I don't know. Is it... It is the same amount of mana. At least, that's what it says. It should be. It's crazy, dude. Because I'm like... I'm really excited. And like, if I'm low... If I'm low, I just... Double heal, you know? I'm really, really excited for this item. Don't you dare. I see you coming, boy. Let's heal. So look at this. We got we got the one. And we got the one. <laughs> spicy. It's so spicy. It's actually so sick. I love it. Maybe I'm maxing the three, so I guess I should have used it with three instead of the one hole, but it's still it's like crazy. I love it. It does seventy percent of the normal damage, by the way. It's not a hundred percent. Like it doesn't literally double your your damage output, but it it makes it much, much higher. Right out the gate. That is unlucky. I love it, dude. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, you ain't got no mana, bitch. It's so good on Hell. And it'd be really good on Ardeo too. Imagine like, um, cause Ardeo's dash I think I think in bear form is probably her highest damaging ability. Um, imagine like using your three, turning into a bear, and then three cancel, three cancel. It's like, it's like a thousand damage burst. I mean, this is gonna be even more than a thousand damage burst, I guess, but. It's crazy. I love it. Oh, I want to use it for double healing. I want to see if I can, if I can bait into a double heal. heal again dude i love it so much dude this item has so much outplay potential it's nuts oh we got the tower down boys i want to see what it's like with um oh what's that other item no, it's not a power item. It's a contagion, right? Like, if I can get this, lower that uh, that healing a little bit from his two. Let's do that. And it builds out from breastplate too, because it does give you. Uh... Actually, that's weird. It doesn't give you any cooldown. I guess breastplate is the only thing in this tree that gives cooldown, so maybe it's not that weird. 
But you can build this and breastplate instead of having to go like a weird item like <laughs> sovereignty or something weird in duel. I've seen it before, people do it. That double heal is so satisfying, or the double damage, or anything like that. Any double, any doubling you're doing is so satisfying. I wonder if I could actually, like, kind of burst down building a little bit. Does this get what does this give? Only cooldown and that's it. So actually with this build right here, you would have max cooldown. Alright. Let's bait him into thinking he can win this fight. Dude, even if I miss half my shit, it's like, it's still a winnable fight because, because I have my three twice. Like, he backflipped, he backflipped my three, which means he should just win the fight, right? Like, I, straight up. It shouldn't even be a competition. But because I have my three twice, he backflips the first one and he can't get out of the second one. He can't get out of that damage, it's crazy. So if we get Breastplate here, we have max cooldown. And now we go into Contagion, which is going to give us that 25% anti-heal. Then we get Divine Ruin. So we have 65% anti-heal with max cooldown. And every 45 seconds, I can double cast my damage. Or my heal, I guess. Depending on what you want. So we got this. You just keep him slowed forever because <laughs> I have that two on him for so long now. <laughs> oh man. It works with every ability that Hell has so well. Use it in your light stance uh, with your one. Okay, cool. You got more damage. Use it in your dark stance one. Okay, cool. More damage. Dark stance two, shred their protection and slow them down. Really good. Dark, or, uh, dark stance three. Cool. Uh, Light Stance 2, you have two CC immunities. Two CC immunities. You get beads with that, you got three CC immunities. You have two, okay, two AoE CC immunities. That's nuts. That's just crazy. Oh, I'm dead. Run. Oh, I'm dead, boss. Oh, I'm so dead. It's over, boys. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not over. Alright, so we get this. By the way, really cheap, too. This, uh... This... Actually, it, how much is normal pestilence? Yeah, it's 2250. 80 magical protection, 200 health. 60 physical protection, 100 health. So this is more based on mana and MP5, but it has the same passive as Pestilence. So, I mean, it's fucking amazing for a godlike hell, you know? Someone that needs all that MP5, all that mana. Or it's even just really good in a mana build, like uh, one that Kukulkin or something would do. I think I had my cooldown on my one there actually taken off and I didn't use it because I'm an idiot. I will say one thing about the item. It's a little bit tough to use correctly on Hell because she switches stances so much and uses so many abilities and stuff. But that being said, I mean, I don't even play Hell. So if you put someone that's really, really good with Hell, like, um... Like Mex Tex or um, 
I don't actually know who's good with hell. But if you put someone who's really good with hell on this god, I 100% guarantee to you that they will fucking frag. Look at that. I just have so many... So many, like... Chances to damage. That I shouldn't even have. <laughs> it's crazy. I love it. There's the backflip. I wanna probably double heal here. Oh no. I could kill. Yep. That motherfucking one. I think the one is probably the best thing to use it on for health. If you can, if you can like manipulate the Staff of Mirrodin to work to your advantage enough on Hell in order to use it with that one, that is going to create such a big damage um, spike for you. Because the one does more than the three, does it not? It's it, look, it seems like it does. It doesn't say how much damage it does, how much damage your three does. It just says... Do I have to be in the other stance? Can I like scroll? It just says light heal. Doesn't say. Whatever. Um, the one does a lot of damage. And it's ranged. And it explodes at the end so it's pretty hard to miss. So basically, if you can manipulate the Staff of Mirrodin, I would do it with the one. In dark stance, of course. Also use it like this or we use that just to clear the wave and then actually just box afterwards too I didn't even think about it like that helps us do damage to Titan out box which is good all around man Got all this anti heal too now. My boy wants it. Oh, so close, dude. With with the double, dude. With that double. One, I actually was almost able to kill him there. I can make it. I wanna double heal right now if I can. Oh, that sustain, my boys. My boys, come on, be honest, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. That's insane. Being able to double heal that? I just healed like 700 health instantly. And was able to, because of because of Staff of Mirrodin, I'm able to retake this Phoenix. Crazy. I know I'll let him clear. I actually kind of want to see. Uh, I want to showcase Staff of Mirrodin more. It's just such a good item. Lotus Crown, they buffed it a little bit, um, 
I think they made it so... Actually, yeah, did they both photo scrub? I think they did. I think they added more physical power onto it, but I could be wrong. <laughs> so that I would see more play, but I'm not sure. I gotta make sure not to use my alt yet. It's so good, dude. I just like immediately win my trades because I have so many abilities. Like it's it's actually that simple. It's insane. This staff of mirrored. It. <laughs> it's it's the best item for hell, honestly. I, I, I don't know what else you would build on Hell in the late game other than stat if you paired that with like Rod and Soul Reaver, imagine the damage output you would have. It's actually insane. Um so yeah, that's just a, a Staff of Mirrodin showcase on Hell and how to absolutely break the fucking game with these stance switching mages and guardians like RDO and Hell. I mean I just I just wanted to be the first one to show you so that you guys can maybe hop on PTS and practice yourself because it's fucking nuts. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and until next time, guys, peace.